Commodities under pressure ahead of the much anticipated Fed meeting next week. Could this trend continue? Joining us now is Todd Baba Horowitz from the CME in Chicago. Todd, good to have you back on the show. Daniela, always great to be on. Well, before we talk gold, let's get your thoughts on oil, uh, oil falling under $37 a barrel on Tuesday. Could it continue to drive gold prices lower and the commodity complex as a whole, really? Well, I think really, Daniela, what you're seeing here is an entire collapse of the commodity complex in general, because you've got uh, a, a Fed that really is lost and isn't really sure what they're going to do. Now, I know the overwhelming theory is that they're going to go ahead and raise rates. I'm still on the camp that they're not going to raise rates and they're going to figure out a reason not. So as long as the U.S. dollar continues to churn higher here, it's going to keep pressure on the commodities. We're, we're at 18-year lows in the commodity index, in the Bloomberg Commodity Index, and that looks to be the way that we're going to continue. It has nothing to do with the supply-demand model right now. It's, it's got everything to do with the Federal Reserve and the U.S. dollar. If the Fed raises rates, the underweighing theory is that the dollar is already priced in an interest rate rise, which should relieve some pressure, which might help the commodities. I think the commodities are very much near a bottom here, but overall it's, it's going to come down to what Janet Yellen and they do on that Wednesday. Right. So that said, what range will you be looking at uh, for gold this week ahead of that meeting? Well, I think gold has been under an extreme amount of pressure, and I'm, a, I'm still a fan of gold. I, you know, again, you have to look at it in a couple of different ways. I think that, first of all, what you're seeing now is the biggest short position I think ever held by funds is being held in gold right now. And typically, when those things start to happen, that usually signifies a potential bottom in a market. Now, I'm not saying that we're going to bottom tomorrow or that we're going straight up. But to me, the risk-reward model states that I'm much better being a gold owner here than a gold seller. I also think that you're, you're seeing the shorts are being done in a lot of what we call the paper gold or the ETFs. But if you go out in the street and try to buy physical gold, it's not so easy to buy. So the overall theory I have, I, I think we're going much higher, but not immediately. I think we're going to first have to see how this dollar plays out. We're going to have to see what the Fed actually does. And if they do get off the, the, the zero point, which I don't think they will. But once we can get some clarity there, I think there will be some money coming into gold. And I think gold will look to work its way higher. But it's not going to be a, a quick jack racket up. It's going to be a nice, slow, steady rally. And I'd much rather see it that way. Anyways, I'd like to see the trend turn and start to see it move upwards a little okay, bit. Okay, well, that said, any opportunities for investors to turn a, a quick profit on a trade ahead of the Fed meeting, Todd? Well, I think you can certainly, I would think that if you want to take a shot and you're an active trader and willing to gamble a little bit, I think certainly you could buy gold or buy gold options going into the, the meeting because I, I'm, I'm from the theory that I believe the move has been priced in, especially in the dollar. You saw what happened last week when Mario Draghi opened his mouth for two minutes and the dollar plummeted while the euro currency rallied. So I believe that the only way we're going to go big, if we're going to go big, we're going to go up big off of the information. Because once it comes out, if I'm right and the dollar's already priced in, the dollar falls, which makes gold more attractive, which then pushes up the price of gold. So if we were going to do that, I would make an options play in gold or in bonds saying that we're going to go higher. But gold would be a good play here. I think you could see a very big spike off the number. Todd, thanks so much for your thoughts today. Thank you, Danielle. I appreciate it.